Hello everyone! So today it's experimental time again. Uh, this time I built some uh, slats on the droop nose of the SUX uh, because I want to uh, make this jet fly very very slow. Yeah, because I'm interested in this um, how slow this jet can fly and if these uh, slats really work in uh, a seaplane size and also the second reason is um, I plan a little contest with uh, Felix um, he is building also absolutely light AC airplanes they are a little bit bigger than my one and but um, I want to see if it's possible uh, to beat him in a small stole contest this means a short takeoff and landing yeah, and um, that's why the SUX needs a bit uh, tuning. Yeah, and at first I want to explain you how these um, slats work. Yeah, I painted them here. A slat is um, just a little wing in front of our main wing. Yeah, and the important thing is that we see this gap here. Yeah, this gap and a normal flight I um, marked the, the, the airstream, how the air is flowing around this and we see there is, there is no effect of this um, gap but uh, it, it became interesting when we have um, a higher AOA, an angel of attack and we fly very slow yeah? and then we can see here the air goes through this gap and this gap is also a nozzle. This means the, the distance here is much bigger than here. So that the air that goes through this gap is accelerated and that's very important because when we fly very slow the airstream all around our airfoil is also very slow. So this means the, the lift um, decreases yeah, but when we fly low we also need enough lift to stay in the air and not uh, to, to spin or something like this. Yeah, and so um, the, the absolutely positive effect of this um, sled is that the air is accelerated here in this nozzle and has a an, um, higher um, speed and with this higher speed the air stays on the airfoil yeah because normally if we don't would have um, this nozzle the air would become turbulent and the the lift breaks up yeah okay <laughs> so far uh, to the theoretical part and uh, at first i want to show you how i built up um, these uh, little slats so let's go to the composite room and see how it works. Let's go!
So now this has to be grinded. I use 80 grit sandpaper and grind Now this carbon stripe will be installed here. This is the, the lower side to make this nice uh, round and smooth that we can have a good airstream from underneath. Let's go. So now the 3mm carbon rod is fixed with some clamps and we will bond it with super glue now. I bring the super glue exactly into this edge. I use medium super glue for a good bonding result. So uh, now the, the carbon rod is installed and the next step is the, the lower side of the sled and for this I use this um, two plies of 80 gram um, glass fiber. This is laminated around the uh, HT plastic uh, plastic round. Um, and now we want to bond these two parts together. With this glass fiber it's really good to see where the, where the glue goes under the glass fiber then it becomes dark. So right um, after the, the sleds were built, it uh, took a little time to think over how to assemble them on the wing because um, this is all round and my, my first idea was to glue two ribs here um, in this gap at the end of the, of the droop nose but um, I want to uh, make them easy to assemble and disassemble because um, Still now I still don't know how good they work and um, maybe um, they can cause some problems or something has to be changed. That's why this should be very easy. And I came to the idea to um, put three bushes in the nose, yeah, three bushes, um, glue these bushes and assemble the sled with uh, three rods. And for a very exact um, positioning, I use this jig. Yeah, this is also made from the from the wing mold, from the wing positive wing mold. And this is assembled here and fixed with some tape. And after this, through these um, bushes, I can drill the holes for the bushes that will be glued inside the droop nose. And this we will see now.
Yeah, after the, the slats are painted, they are installed here on the SUX. I use the wings uh, of the SUX vertical because they are um, a little bit lighter than these wings. And um, this plane should also be as light as possible for all these test flights. And the next thing is um, how to uh, secure them. Uh, you saw that I installed three bushes. On the outer bushes I um, glued these carbon rods uh, on the slats which are pushed into the droop nose and in the center bushing is a screw. Yeah, the screw uh, works also as a um, rod and also for securing the sled. And the cool thing on these bushes and these rods is that I can um, change the distance. Yeah, here, here, is the, here is the rod and inside this rod uh, here's the, the, the bushes in the droop nose and inside the bushes is the, is the rod, the carbon rod. And now I can move the completely sled um, uh, towards the droop nose, also the, the wing. Yeah? And this will be interesting when I make the test flights to see um, which, is, uh, which is a good distance in between here, which works best. Yeah. So I think this was a good solution with this rod and these bushes. And um, yeah, before this plane goes up in the air, I will do some tests um, right here. And this I want to show you. I um, put these uh, straps um, again on the wing, my lovely red straps. And here I have all my EDFs, um, these powerful EDFs. And with them, I will blow over the wing to have a first impress of the airstream and the aerodynamics on the swing while this um, sled is installed. And the three wanna see now. Yo, I'm quite happy with the first results of these uh, wind tests and um, yeah, in the next video uh, I will show you the first um, really flight tests and <laughs> it's, um, it's really interesting how short can be the start and landing distance. Um, I did some um, first training yesterday without um, these sleds and the uh, distance for start was about uh, four meters and for landing still the, the um, jet stand still was about um, 10 meter yeah and uh, let's see uh, what is possible and <laughs> felix uh, props to you and um, i hope we can do this this year our small contest and see all you in the next video bye bye okay. Und start.
Ich freue mich so doll drüber.